¿Qué quieres? Eh, una Coca-Cola. ¿Por qué? Me gusta mucho. <laughs> Ask her if she knows that people in Chiapas drink more Coke than any country in the world per capita. Sí, eso es cierto. Have you ever seen one of these things with a Coke sign on it? Me either. I'm out here in the middle of the jungle in a tiny town and all they have in that fridge behind me is Coca-Cola. Hmm, what to get? So we got the three liter, two and a half, and two. Just a random corner in San Cristobal, and it's a Coke store. <sighs> Listen, when I'm traveling, nothing tastes better than an ice cold Coca-Cola. It's refreshing, it's a familiar taste, and it just gives me this subconscious feeling of being home. But after spending the majority of the last month in Mexico, I found out that Mexican Coca-Cola is actually made differently than back in the States. Here, it's made with real cane sugar as opposed to high fructose corn syrup, which is much more delicious. I swear to God, Coke just tastes that much better in Mexico. But some parts of Mexico have gone overboard with their Coca-Cola consumption, just like right here in Chiapas. Also known as Mexico's southernmost state and one of the poorest. In fact, people in Chiapas drink more Coke per capita than any country in the entire world. Can you believe that? ¿Cuántas de estas te tomas al día? Hay tres. ¿Tres litros? Tres litros en un día. Wow. ¿Qué dice? It goes down really well with your food. According to a 2019 study by the Chiapas Research Center, Coke drinkers in this state enjoy an average of 821 liters per person per year. That is equivalent to 2.2 liters per person per day. For comparison, Americans drink 3% of that amount on average. Would you say Coke is the most popular drink that you sell here? Cheers. Yeah. So why do they drink so much Coca-Cola in Chiapas compared to the world? It all comes down to two things, accessibility and price. Salud. Salud. Coca-Cola is often easier to find than bottled water and it's just as cheap. I'm talking just 30 cents. Literally in this fridge you can find more Coca-Cola than water. It's absurd. Two rows of water, four, five, six, seven, eight rows of Coke. There's a massive bottling plant here in San Cristobal that produces and distributes Coca-Cola all around the state. Right now we're walking to the big Coca-Cola factory right in the city of San Cristobal. But Coca-Cola even goes a step further than just a drink. To the Tzotzil indigenous people in Chiapas, Coke is spiritual and deeply intertwined with their culture. In a town called San Juan Chamula, you can see bottled Coke as an offering in their main place of worship. They believe that Coke can heal the sick, proving to be one of the most interesting rituals I've ever seen. Holy man. So we arrive here in Chamula and we walk down through the market to the church, buy a ticket to go inside, and all of a sudden this massive parade starts. I got really scared because I heard all these loud, loud like gunfire. Oh. God, man. I can't see anything. Oh. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. There was a huge parade with explosions all over the main plaza, like it was the same. When we went inside of the church, we saw these rituals and they had these Coca-Cola bottles on the floor, people playing music. They make its own ritual, like they drink to the Coca-Cola to ex like exhale all the bad spirits inside of them after they purify their bodies drinking posh, just inside in the middle of the church. Right, and then when, as soon as you walk outside, everyone's on the side drinking Coke, like every single person had a Coke in their hand. I don't know, it was crazy. As a result of all this Coke drinking, it's no surprise to hear that the effect on public health has been devastating. Diabetes has become a major problem in Chiapas, claiming more than 3,000 lives a year. It's now the second leading cause of death in the state behind heart disease. But the people here have been warned and that doesn't stop them from getting their hands on another bottle of their favorite carbonated drink. Guys, I'm not making this video to pick on Mexico. I just wanted to raise awareness because it has really caught me by surprise. I absolutely love this country, its people and its culture and I can't wait to come back here again in the near future.
Thanks everyone for watching and have a great day. It's really prohibited to take pictures. Like, I think that's the hardest I've ever gone. Yeah, I know, like, it would be crazy to have some pictures on, like, record this parade, massive parade. It was insane. All I wanted to do was take out my camera and get some shots and it was too hard. Everyone was looking around and I was able to shoot my face a little bit, but nothing what was happening. But the strangest thing about all this was it's like a parade, like a fiesta, a celebration, but everyone, nobody was smiling. Everybody looked upset. Is that just cultural or what's, what's going on with that? Yeah, pretty much people are around here, they're not like cheering up each other during celebrations, but like they look serious in this stuff. It's really, really important for them yeah. to make this celebration. Yeah, up. it's a super serious. Anyways, that's what we saw here in Chamula. It's too bad that I couldn't record it, but I will never forget that, man. Cheers, man. Have Thank you ever seen that before? No, this is the first time I see this kind of parade over here. First time. And he's from here. Well, he's from San Cristobal and never seen it before. Signing out.